So here is the challenge. I want you to get a six figure deal, six figures net to you, wired into your bank account in the next 90 days. In this deal breakdown, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Check this out. My man. How's it going? Good, good. Hey, what, um, on that eightplex on Maryland, what did we net on that after everything was said and done? Uh, we got under contract for 583500 583500 okay. Yeah, we bought it, uh, closed on it ourselves. Yep. And we ended up selling it for 700000 Um, uh, and then after you factor in closing costs, um, cost of insurance, utilities, um, things like that. We ended up netting around one thirteen. Hundred thirteen thousand. Hundred thirteen thousand. Woo! Was that a? Um, do you remember if it was a cold call or a text message? Uh, that was a text message. Awesome. Do you know what list it was on? Uh, that was actually just our general Maricopa Master. Nice. Love it. So it wasn't a multifamily list. Got it. And he said, hey, I'm uh, selling this uh, A-plex. So with this video, really the, the most important thing here is when you have a big, massive deal, when you have the opportunity to make six figures on a deal, I want you to close it. I want you to get the financing, the, the, the capital that you need to close that deal so that you that, so that there's no risk of you losing out on this. Because if you blast out a really big juicy deal and for some reason somebody on your list knows the seller, somebody on your list is jealous because they were bidding on that property and they're gonna try to sabotage you, it really, really, really is like heartbreaking when you have this opportunity in your hands that doesn't come along every single day, uh, but you get, you, you, you have this opportunity right now, you need to close on that deal so that you own it and that you completely control what's going on with that deal and there's no risk of losing it, okay? And that's what we did on this thing. Um, the owner wanted 580 and some change. We just bought it cash and, uh, and put it out there and put it out to our list once we owned the property. Now, what we probably should have done is we probably should have just relisted it on the MLS right now because I think the exposure to the world um, and kind of like everybody that has eyes on our market probably would have got us more for this deal. Um, but we decided that we just wanted to sell it easily and get it done within a couple weeks. We didn't want to have our money tied up for too long, uh, but that was a mistake on my part. It truly was. I think that we probably could have gotten this thing, um, probably gotten 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars more on this deal now that I'm looking at it. But um, hindsight's kind of 50 50, and uh, you never know what would have come up. Obviously, there would have been more costs with agent commissions and more and uh, more education if you put it on the MLS with the actual uh, buyers, agents, and buyers. Um, because we didn't have, um, we, we didn't own it for that long, so we didn't have a tremendous amount of disclosures that we that you would typically have to put uh, uh, put together if you put it on the market. So uh, we just wanted to quick and easy, but we should have put it out on the MLS. Um, so when you have an opportunity to do that, close on a deal, I would highly suggest that you put it on the MLS and open it up to the entire world. Here we are, this is the 8 behind me that we just uh, bought and sold. 
and uh, really interesting because if you look at the economics of this deal, uh, the most that this property will rent for right now is about $5,000 a month if all the units are completely filled and up to current market rents. And you're probably saying, wait a second, well didn't you sell for $700,000 and they're only getting $5,000? Is this buyer like silly or they don't, do they not understand the 1% rule? But here in Phoenix, people are, you are buying properties, one, for depreciation, right? You can depreciate the, the asset and uh, that'll reduce your tax liability. Two, they're gonna ride the appreciation wave. So in the next five, 10, 15 years, this 700,000 will be worth a million. And three, if, if you want a nice, safe place to put cash, to, to kind of guard against inflation that a lot of high net worth people are worried about right now because of all the money getting printed because of the pandemic, this is a great opportunity. So what this means for you is go aggressive with your multifamily properties, try to get them locked up at the best price that you can, but really push out the values because people really want these properties right now and you can do some really, really big deals uh, locking these deals up, locking these uh, multifamily properties up.